Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm actually starting this video. And also, I had to do a full circle moment and start this birth vlog in the same place where I found out that I was expecting. I can already feel like I'm getting emotional. Today is January 24th, 3.54 p.m. and we are getting induced tonight. We go in at 8.30 tonight. I'm so excited. I wasn't nervous at first, but like I think the closer that it's getting, I'm getting a little bit nervous. My stepmom is on her way here to stay with the dogs. I feel like the dogs are kind of what makes me so emotional. Like, I don't know, it's like leaving leaving them and then it's never just gonna be like them anymore i don't know i'm so happy obviously to be bringing baby girl home but it's just a lot of changes you know and it's emotional but yeah she's gonna stay with the dogs but first we're going to go out to eat tonight because tomorrow is my birthday and so we're gonna go have a birthday dinner they said to come to the hospital after eating a big meal, so I'm gonna eat a big meal, and hopefully we get ice cream afterwards. But I just wanted to start the vlog, and I actually cannot believe that we are here. Nine months ago, I was sitting here shocked, finding out that I was pregnant after three years of infertility, and here we are, it's game time. <sighs> Keep it together. I feel like I'm gonna cry when I say goodbye to the dogs, but yeah, here we go. It's kind of dark, but one last final look at the bump with baby girl. It's so crazy. She is large and in charge. I'm so excited to see like what she actually weighs. If she's a little little bitty bitty thing or if she's a big girl. I'm hoping for a little itty bitty thing but I <laughs> love her regardless, you know? Did you know you're gonna have a sister in there? You're gonna have a sister so soon. You get me out. We're gonna go and we're gonna be back with the baby sister. Yes. And I have a present for you. Yes, your whole world is going to be so different. You've got camera all over me. I know. But you're so excited. <laughs> the last time with the buff. I'm taking your pillow away from you. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Granger literally doesn't care. You don't care about one thing. Yeah. He's like, just throw my back. So we just left the house for the last time without a baby, which is. Well, can you see me? We just pulled up to the hospital and it's go time. We had some ice cream at Freddy's. I literally ate half of it because I'm just so full. You can't even see Jared, but what are, what are you feeling? Are you nervous, anxious, excited? I don't know yet. <laughs> All of the above? Yes, it's just such a weird feeling. The next time I'm out here, we're going to be bringing the car seat with the baby in it. But it's starting to rain, so we're going to head in. But let's go have a baby. Here we go. Last bump. Hello, you guys. We are in our room. I got my IV. And I hope that was the worst part because it was not fun. She tried on this side and didn't get it. So we're on this side now, currently watching some basketball. And yeah, fun times. It's 9.55, I just got my IV. And then they're gonna about to come in here and do a sauna, check on baby, see if she's head down still, check dilation and everything to see if I'm further dilated and a face myth than what they thought and maybe we can skip some stuff. I don't know. At dinner tonight when we were leaving I was feeling a lot of pressure down there so I'm hoping that that was doing something and I'm a lot further than what I was when I last got checked but we'll see. So it's 1020. They just got me hooked up to the monitor thing. So they're monitoring baby's heart and also contractions. I can't see it because my gown but am I having contractions? 
the bottom one. I think maybe little ones, but like I don't feel anything. And it took forever for them to like get baby's like heart like monitored she was like moving everywhere she was like literally kicking me it was hurting so bad but it took like 10 minutes for them to get the heart one set up but anyway i was gonna show you jared got me this little bucket of snacks and drinks and goldfish there's an applesauce down there which looks so good some pretzel chocolate covered pretzels oreos some of these bar thingies what's way down there i can't see and this ivy is not very comfortable what is that peaches yep some peaches, two coffees. Okay. Yeah, just some good little snack bucket. I'm excited. How sweet of him. Oh, man. They said that they're going to come back in 20 minutes after I've been tracked for 20 minutes and baby's been tracked. And then they're going to take off the monitoring. Then they're going to wait till 2 a.m. to start... Well, they're gonna check me when they come back and then they're gonna do the sauna. But then depending on like how dilated and I, I am, which I pray that I'm at least a three so I don't have to do the bulb thing. They said, if I'm not, they'll come back at 3 a.m. and we'll start the side attack and the bulb. But yeah, I don't know why they're waiting till 2 a.m. but that's just what they said. So praying that I'm at least a three. I feel like I have to be, but I don't know. So it is officially my birthday. It's 2.15 a.m. They just got done putting the bulb inside me because I was still only dilated to 1.5 centimeters. That was not fun. From what I've heard, like some of my friends say, like they said that they will never have a baby again because of the bulb, but I don't feel like it was that bad. But it definitely was uncomfortable and it was not fun. It took like five minutes. It was a lot of pressure, but I do feel like I might be having contractions already because I just f felt some like period like cramping but I don't really know. I think the monitor is showing that I maybe had one or something, I don't know. I have literally got zero sleep. They left the room at like noon, not noon, <laughs> midnight. Was it midnight? I don't know. I think it was like three hours that they like said that they would come back at two and I, we tried to nap. It was at like 11.30. We tried to nap during like those three hours not a wink i think jared maybe got a little bit but not me this bed is so uncomfortable <laughs> i'm literally so uncomfortable right now but there's just not much i can do and there's really no point in like trying to go to sleep right now because they're just going to be coming in here like every 30 minutes to an hour to like move my bulb down anyways it's so crazy look at this that is where our little baby is gonna be going this is our room tour nothing too exciting there's jared on his little sofa couch thing i did bring some cards and games so we could play games so we're not bored but i think jared's writing in our little pregnancy journal right now maybe i'll whip him in a game of skip bow hmm? said maybe i'll whip up on you in a game of skip bow i think we both should try to sleep after they come in here the next time otherwise you're gonna be super tired. I'm probably not gonna sleep until I get the epidural, honestly. You probably need, you need to try. <laughs> I tried. Hello you guys, 
It's currently 8.28. I got my epidural at 8.02 and then they just broke my water, what, like five minutes ago? 10 minutes like ago? 10 minutes ago. Yeah. I I think she said I'm at a five and 80% effaced. I never really was feeling bad contractions, but they were wanting to break my water and I wanted to have my epidural before they did that. So that's why I got the epidural. But really, I, don't, I have not felt like any pain at all. This has like been a very smooth process, I feel like. And I think you just kind of work yourself up over the nerves of it all when really it's not that bad. The epidural didn't like it was not bad at all either so that's good my doctor just came in and saw me and he was like we're moving right along he's like this baby's gonna be here before five so yeah i'm very excited i can't believe like this is actually happening it's crazy i'm all hooked up to wires i feel like i cannot move that's like the worst part of it honestly the worst part of this whole thing has been my ivy well i mean she wasn't really that great of it yeah it was not fun. But I wasn't going to sit here and critique somebody. My feet feel all numbly. I was wondering if you wanted me to take off your little socks that you have on there. Because once you start feeling hot and flush, you, you probably won't feel it. Again. I did bring my makeup and stuff. I was going to take my makeup off and then redo it. But at this point, I'm just... I'm rocking this makeup. <laughs> yeah, you might as well. Huh? I said, yeah, you might as well. Yeah. We were trying to take guesses on when she was going to be here and I think it's pretty obvious if you've like watched all our videos and stuff like that we're both guessing a time with 33 in it so yeah that's the update for now and I don't know when I'll update you again I know I can't record we're actually during delivering the, yeah during the birthing process but we as soon as like they're laying her on me they said I could start recording oh well, look it's 8 33 kind of got pieces all over well, that, I have short hairs back here, so they don't really stay up, but... Do you want me to just yeah, you do can, it? Yeah, you can redo it. Because you have this, this one. Take it out. So, it's... What time is it? 10.57. I was checked at 10.30. 10.15, 10.20, I think. I don't think it was 10.30 yet. And I was a 7 and 80% of base. Um, 80, 80 to 90-ish. <laughs> <laughs> um... And that check did not hurt at all. I felt literally nothing. It was amazing. Um, and they're gonna come back in and check me at 11.30 to see how far I've progressed. And they have all the all the delivery stuff set up, which is really crazy. It's getting real. But it's like every update that I've given you has come from me sitting on this bed, so I feel very stagnant, but we're getting so close. My <laughs> yeah, my uh, epidural is making me feel like I have literal butt implants. It feels so weird. But I got this peanut ball in between my legs. It's supposed to do the trick, I guess. We're just waiting on baby girl. Hopefully, I push her out real fast. <laughs> Ugh. But yeah, that's the update. Next time I update, I could have a baby in my hands. So, mom's doing good. Uh, baby was being really stubborn earlier. Uh, so, they tried some different positions and stuff. And she's doing better now. She's now at uh, eight and a half at two o'clock. They're gonna do another recheck here about three o'clock, so about 30 minutes or so. So, we'll see what happens. I was starving, so I got some chicken broth and it's delicious. <laughs> Grandma Jane sitting in here. <coughs> You want to say anything, Grandma Jane? Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey guys, uh, Chanel wanted me to come in and give you guys a brief update. The last update that we had with you guys was around 3 p.m. or so. It is now, I'd say probably a little after 6. Um, since the last update, she was at like a 8.5. She was about 90% faced and she was at like a zero or something on her station. Yeah. <laughs> 
out of her wet blanket okay and then i'm gonna have you just lift up your gown for me you can tell where she was coming down kind of long oh she has so much <laughs> i'm just gonna take a listen to her okay oh sweet happy birthday sister mm -hmm. you get to share mommy's birthday <laughs> Thank you so much for You're welcome. being here. I'm just glad the, uh, the head turn. Normally it's not that easy. Yeah. But uh, that made all the difference. It's it was worth it all the way. Um, I would say oh, yeah. happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> you get to have some cake later. You can share a birthday with mommy. The resident wanted to know if we could light a candle for you. And I said, oh, that's a fire hazard. <laughs> <laughs> it was thoughtful. Yeah, there's oxygen going. So I didn't get... I didn't get the update um, for because your battery right died there, like mm -hmm. mid deal. So I came out to change out the battery, got it changed out, and so both walked in the room and was like, right? we're doing this. Mm -hmm. Hi. Are you smiling? You're going to smile? Or are you trying to... No. You're not going to cry. No, it's good. Thank you. Mom is shaking. Mm -hmm. Is that why? Mm -hmm. uh, her scaring you? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. I think you're, you're probably pooping. That's what it is. <laughs> it's okay. It is okay, baby girl. You are 30. 32.90 grams, which is 7 pounds, 4 ounces. I was close. <laughs> she looks so tight, much tinier than that. I was, <laughs> I was 2 ounces.